welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Wednesday, May the 24th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, we're following John MacArthur's devotional book entitled Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Saluting an Unknown Soldier, in brackets, James, son of Alphaeus. Uh, again, Matthew chapter 10, verse 3 reminds us the 12 apostles included, James, the son of Alphaeus. Our thought for today is, God often uses ordinary, pardon me, ordinary people to accomplish great things. Like, Pastor MacArthur writes, like most Christians, James the son of Alphaeus is an unknown and unsung soldier of the cross. His distinguishing characteristic is obscurity. Nothing he did or said is recorded in scripture, only his name. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 15, verse 40, he is called James the Less, which literally means little James. That could refer to his stature, he might have been short, his age, he might have been younger than James the son of Zebedee, or his influence, he might have, relati he might have had relatively little influence among the disciples. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verse 14, Matthew, sometimes called Levi, is called the son of Alphaeus. Alphaeus was a common name, but it's possible that James and Matthew were brothers since their fathers had the same first name. Also, James's mother is mentioned in Mark chapter 15, verse 40, as being present at Christ's crucifixion along with other women. She is referred to as the wife of Clopas in John chapter 19, verse 25. Since Clopas was a form of Alphaeus, the further, that further supports the possibility that James and Matthew were related. From those references, we might conclude that James was a small, young man whose personality was not particularly powerful. If he was Matthew's brother, perhaps he was as humble as Matthew, willing to serve the Lord without any applause or notice. Whichever the case, be encouraged that God uses obscure people like James and rewards them accordingly. Someday, James will sit on a throne in Christ's millennial kingdom, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, just like the other more prominent disciples. That's promised in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 30. It's promised to the 12. No matter how obscure or prominent you are from a human perspective, God can use you and will reward you with a glorious eternal inheritance. Dear friends, thank you. I encourage you and, and, and commend you for taking a few moments of your day to listen to this devotional reflection and consider the truth of it. I've taken Pastor MacArthur's suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've recorded them in the description portion of this video so that you can have them available to dig into, to interact with, to help build your discipleship walk with Jesus Christ. And until we can be together again to hear another devotional reflection as penned by Pastor MacArthur, and may that be tomorrow, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Go in the peace of the Lord.